gas here is $1.98 TT a liter for diesel which is about 30 cents 30 cents a liter so times that by four four liters to a gallon that's a dollar 20 us a gallon Previously on TRIO Hey guys, last time on TRIO we dealt with some medical troubles aboard Saltair 3. Then, while out exploring, we came across a dragnet fishing boat. Redfish! And we saw some of the amazing oil and gas ships at anchor no in the Shagaramas Harbor. Then it was time for some land exploring as we saw some of Trinidad's most beautiful spots. This time, we've got a little more exploring to do before setting sail for Tobago. Okay, it's 6.30 in Trinidad, and we're at the Saturday morning market. Check it out. Truck full of pineapples. Lots of action. This is the Port of Spain weekend market. We've seen a lot of markets during our travels, and few surpass the size and variety that this market in Trinidad's capital has to offer. Lots. Truck full of corn. Sure. These are Trinidad's famous doubles. Two sweet crepe like tortillas filled with a soft curried chickpea mess. Then add a spicy mango cilantro sauce. They are eaten for breakfast and cost just $4 TT or about 50 cents each. They are, in a word, yum. And we ate them every chance. We could. Uh, just a little bit. Whoa, that's hot. And they're messy. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good here. Yeah, good. <laughs> Strong, right? I don't know what he just said. Come in, come in. Yo, come in. Come in. Come in. Oh, come on in and see. Hold it up, Cole. What do you got? Blue crab. So this is ribeye steak. Yeah. It's ribeye, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's twenty. TT a pound. Let's show me that one. Show me that one. Let's see. Look at that. That's a beautiful ribeye. 20 TT is about $3 a pound. So we're getting a ribeye steak for $3 a pound. We're back from the market. We scored on the provisioning. We got 17 pounds of ribeye for 240 TT Trinidadian dollars which works out to 36 US and I had to cut a bunch up myself because they don't cut it as professional as the butchers in back home but I've got myself nine meals here ribeye some big rib bones made some soup stock None of it went to waste. So that works out to like four bucks a meal. So we're stocking up the freezer. Beef's kind of hard to find anything of a decent sort of cut down on the islands. So stocked up here in Trini and then uh, we'll be good to go. I got a few bit more room in the freezer left to 
You say some four bucks stuff. a meal? That's four bucks a meal ribeyes. Yeah, four bucks a meal ribeyes. Four four and that's a four bucks a meal for three people. Because yeah. I portioned it out for three people. So. Yeah, so that's like what? It's dollar like, thirty-three a person. Dollar <laughs> thirty-three. So here in Trinidad, and we need some fuel. If you get it at the fuel dock here, they charge you a little bit of a tax if you're a foreigner, like double. So it's four dollars and seventy-five cents a liter at the gas station here, or you can put your jerry cans into your dinghy and you can take them to the rental car that you have that you're rented to go to the hospital with because you're having hospital issues and fill them up for $1.98 a liter. Now those are Trinidad dollars and you times it by roughly 15 to get the price per liter in US. So at a $2 TT per liter times 15, that's 30 cents a liter. So I'm gonna go and fill up at the gas station all my diesel jugs for 30 cents a liter. I think with two trips and filling up my big tank on the boat, I can save about 140 US dollars from what I was paying in Grenada. Car. 90 miles north. Yeah, it does pay for the rental car, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. But it's been raining all day, and not that I don't mind getting wet, it's just kind of a pain in the ass being soaking wet and driving in a car with soaking wet clothing. But I'm gonna go now, I think it stopped for a little bit. All right, Cole's over on that boat, and you can see him ripping around on their trams, on Sail Pending's trams. Too funny. It was a crazy wet day. We got some rain shades for our cockpit, so it's keeping us a lot drier, but it's pretty much raining sideways now, so we're getting a little bit wet. Oh. You back already? You are soaked. Oh my god. That's a bit. You should see the sidewalk is flooded. It's like a river on shore. <laughs> anyway, I give up. They're unloaded. I'll do it tomorrow when it's hopefully it's dry. Yeah, well, you're one step closer. Welcome to Trinidad, rainy season. Yeah, rainy season. And then the rain could have stopped, it's going to be like so sweaty. It's been 95% humidity today. Just uh. So we've run out of water here in uh, Trinidad. In hot Trinidad, oh my god, so hot. It's, so hot. it's cooled down, it's showing 96, 97 in the shade. But it's the humidity that's deadly. And there's no air. We're starting to get a little bit of a breeze now. But wow, it was up to over 100 today on the water and no movement. So we're going in to get water. Cole's getting the fenders out, tying off, tying off the lines. And we've run out of water because we can't make water in Jagaramas. So we're going to head in there and buy some water. It's a lovely day. It's just extremely hot. So we're just cruising in to get water up here at the dock. But I wanted to show you the water temperature. 86 point, well it's just said 87.1. <laughs> that's, that's hotter than a swimming pool. Yeah, so we said it was 100 degrees out here. It's 87.1 in the water. So yeah, it's hot. We're sweating. So we're going along that long finger coming straight out on us, right? Yeah, we'll tar, uh, starboard, starboard tie. Yeah, nose in, right? Yeah. Of course, there's a little boat that's going to take our spot just as we come in. You want to find out what he's doing, Krista? Go ahead, get in the fenders tied. Atta boy. He's waving us on? Oh, he's back. Okay, good. You got us tied there, Krista? Yeah. Alright, let's get some water. Pass that to me, kiddo. Yeah. I'm stuck. It's not feeding through. There we go. All right. Let her rip. I guess so. Is it coming, Krista? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're good, Cole. We're pulling dry. Last yeah. load of laundry, I'm like, oh. 
<laughs> Gas here is $1.98 TT a liter for diesel, which is about 30 cents. $1.98 taxes included. TT. 30 cents a liter. So times that by four, four liters to a gallon. That's a dollar twenty US a gallon. I'm pretty sure I've been with you. We've been in Trinidad for three weeks now in Shagaramas Bay. And it's a little disappointing because it's full of trash every day. It just swirls around the boat with a light skim of oil and diesel on the surface. There's no way you'd swim here. It's a big oil and gas town, isn't it? Yeah, there's tankers and oil servicing boats everywhere. Plastic bottles, styrofoam. Lawn chairs, so much plastic. Wonder if there's a mattress floating by. But on a positive note, what do we like about Trinidad? Yeah, so the pluses of Trinidad, the food is really awesome. Doubles are my favorite. Yeah. Plastic bags everywhere, man. Yeah, when I was driving, I was still hunting and nerding the other day. We were ripping along. It's Republic Day! daily trek to the internet cafe yeah uh, this is every day the garbage just swirls around in this bay dead fish Yeah. Could have been just rumor, but that was some people. And even so, that's gross. Some of that's organic, but a lot of it's plastic, and a lot of the plastic is under the surface. Plastic bags and water bottles. Such a shame. This is power boats. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> you got me. It's power boats boatyard, and they offer. Wi-Fi and it's really nice because you can go up there and it's AC and it's heaven because it has been so hot here in Trinidad. I hate the AC in there. It's, sometimes it's too strong. Yeah, sometimes it gets too cold, but I'm not complaining because I'm not complaining because it has been so hot here in Trinidad. 104 with like ugh, 90 degrees humidity, so you're just a sweaty mess all the time. It's a beautiful day today. It's not, no rain in sight. Ooh, I can feel that cool air already. Oh. Dang it! <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm working on the engine, tightening up the uh, alternator belts before we leave tomorrow morning. And the music's so loud out of these boats that I can't even hear the engine running. Every weekend. Well, everybody's having a good time anyway. Well, gang, 5 a.m. and we're leaving Trinidad. <laughs> Off to Tobago. Fighting about knot and a half of current because we're on a flood tide still for a couple hours. There's less than four knots of wind. It's a nice calm day. There's a lot of current and we're going right east. We're told to hug the shore because that's where the least amount of current is. It's not this path, this is the tricky one, it's the next one. Well, this is the one where we shot through at 10 knots. Coming the other way. Right now, you can see dropped to 4.2 now. You can see the current working against us. Yeah. And we're now we were just doing five knots. It feels like we're going really fast though. And yeah. now we're down to 4.2. Really it might take us a couple hours to get like half a mile. Yeah. We're just cruising along the coast of northern coast of Trinidad. Getting into some beautiful areas in here. I'm gonna bring us a little closer. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It's beautiful. if we were sailing by, but we're dropped down to 5.3 knots from 6.8 current in here. Tobago was the inspiration I read for Robinson Crusoe, the Robinson Crusoe novel. doing anything of anything. But at least the seas are nice and calm. Sitting having lunch yeah, and the fun. drag wasn't set on the fishing line yeah, so I'm see. like hey I think we got a fish. <laughs> Pull him in boys. Yeah I know I saw him out of the water. There he is. Oh, it's, what is he? I don't know. Could be a mommy. Oh, get him, Cole. Hey. Oh, that was. Oh, oh my gosh, he's sweating so much that I can't feel him. Oh, he's out of the water. There he goes, Cole. Oh, yeah, he's right out of the water. Oh. Oh, he's trying to get off so bad. You got him, buddy. Bring him in. Keep reeling. Go, Cole. Go. You got him. Go, go, go. Man, he's a fighter. Oh. Woo. That's a beauty. Holy cow, that was tiring. Good fight. Wow. Look at the marks on him. He's so pretty. All right, Woo. grab the rum before we... Uh... All right. Hey, pour it in. Good, another side. Wait, pour it in. Not a good boy, that's good. Ooh, that's a stinky bump. <laughs> Look, he's stunned, he's drunk. All right, well. Uh, they will be in a better position to guide you to a safe place to boot. Um, yeah. Can you try calling again and then uh, they will call us again? 
So we're at Tobago. We bailed on our trip to Guyana. We bailed a little bit late, so we've arrived in Tobago in this industrial harbor a little bit late. And now it's pitch black and we don't know where to drop the anchor. There is an area over there, but it looks really, really tight. Chris is talking to the Coast Guard. Well, she's been talking to the Port Authority. Coast Guard's not answering. That's a noisy ship. It's going to be a bit of a freaky sleep here, I think, tonight. Yeah, it's going to be awful. Yeah. So we'll be up at... We'll be up at 5. Yeah. Crack of dawn. Well, before the TT Spirit leaves, that's that big ferry over there. And uh, they'll wake us up anyways. It's going to be tough dropping the anchor. That's going to be the hardest part. But at least it's calm. Yeah. For now. Hey, cool. Do you want to get out that spotlight? The big ship, one leaves at 11 tonight and the other one leaves, he said, he wasn't sure, but 6.15 to 6.30. Is it 11? Yeah, 11. 2300 hours. So I'm thinking if we just go straight now here at this angle, you take the helm. Okay. We just take this straight angle here and this back down, we'll go a bit farther so we can get closer to, away from shore. Yeah. And uh, see I do. There. So, so if we just go out here another, in line with it, uh -huh. and then back, back down. All right. I think we're hooked, Dad. Well, that's it for this episode of Tree of Travels. The story of how we didn't go to Guyana might never be told. Thanks for all the thumbs ups and the great comments, and stay tuned for our next episode as we explore the more remote island of Tobago. I didn't want to go into. I didn't want to tell these everybody all that went on today. Yeah, it's only, it's only three days of motoring away. Whatever. Whatever. Doable. We have lots of diesel. Let's just go. So now we have to worry about him leaving at 6 a.m. and him leaving at 11 p.m. Yeah. Well, he can't cut the corner. He's got to go out past that white. Yeah. Bird. But it'll be exciting nonetheless. Yeah. It'll be a hard to sleep night, I'm sure. Yeah. That's just the departures. Else is in. Currently, that's the Coast Guard hut right there, but they don't answer the radio when you call them on Channel 6. Channel 6 then. Yeah. And a few hours later, the Coast Guard finally yeah. answers. Well, I called you guys for an hour. I talked to Port Authority three times. Port Authority tried to call you. Port Authority told me, anchor right here. Yes, sir. He said, anchor right there. We're gonna leave at 6 a.m. Okay, okay, no problem. Yes, sir, I asked him. He said the ferry leaves at 6.15. 6.30. 6.30, okay. All right. Well, that's really it for this episode of Trio Travels. If you enjoy our videos, consider joining us on Patreon and help us keep the videos coming. So till next time, on Trio. Cheers.